Um, I've just seen your um, one of your interviews with the television, and I was interested particularly in one quote where you backed Harry Maguire um, and said that he's had to deal with all sorts of stuff from people who should know better. I was just wondering if you could explain that and maybe tell us who should know better. No, I don't think it needs elaborating on, but um, he's um, yeah he's having a difficult period, and um, he. Uh, it, it, in these periods, you, you learn a lot about yourself, you learn a lot about other people, and you learn who's there for you in those difficult times. Um, he'll come through it, he'll be a better player and a stronger man for it. And um, he, he knows there'll be criticism after this, and you have to accept that. Um, to go down to 10 men is costly for the team. Um, but we're, we fully back him, we fully support him. He's been a top player and is a top player for us and um, he'll come through it. He showed on Sunday why uh, we think so much of him with his performance against Belgium. So, um, as I say, he'll, he'll, he'll get through this period and he'll, he'll be back to his best. Thanks, Matt. Next, we'll go to Simon Peach from PA. Hi, Simon. Um, it, oh, this was a difficult evening after, after the other day, not just with Harry, obviously, with Reece performs well and was sent off at the end. What's your overall takeaway from this? And could you kind of clear up what happened at the end of the match? Um, well, the sending off at the end, I'm told, was for dissent. Um, so that's obviously something as a young player he has to recognise that's not acceptable. I thought his individual performance was outstanding um, with and without the ball. He, he really, you know, in the, the opening half an hour, him and his combinations with Mason, Kyle and the, and the midfield players down the right-hand side really opened them up. Uh, we, we were moving... The, the, frustrate, the most frustrating thing of the night is we were playing so well, using the ball so well and um, sustaining attacks well. Um, but this is football, you know, moments change the flow of the game. Um, that, that's always the nature. You can't afford to go down to 10 at any, at any level of the game. It's extremely difficult to improve your result when you're down to 10. Um, but the resilience that they showed as a group um, selecting the right moments to defend in, in depth and to be compact and to wait, selecting the right moments to press, um, selecting the right moments to play from the back, the right moments to go slightly longer, maximise the set plays. They, they, they almost carried out the perfect plan with 10 men and created some good opportunities. Um, so I couldn't be prouder of what they've done, not just tonight, but across the three matches. We've had an incredible chain of things to deal with um, for both of the two camps this, this uh, autumn. Um, but this group have got stronger together. We've found individuals who've had excellent performances that's given us more, more depth to the squad. We've had, I think, eight, ten debuts. Um, so we've learned so much. We, we, you know, we wanted the win tonight, which would have meant we'd need a, a draw in Brussels. To progress in this competition, we have to, to go there and win. That's difficult, but not impossible. Thanks, Simon. Rob Dorset, Sky Sports News. Hi, Gareth. Uh, can Hi, I, Rob. Can I take you back to, to Harry Maguire, if that's OK? Um, yep. He's clearly having a really difficult time with it, both on and, and off the pitch at, at the moment. Uh, and the football for him comes really thick and fast with Manchester United now, with, with Premier League games and Champions League games. And then he's straight back into another international break with you, you know, in, in a matter of weeks. Might you have to consider giving him a rest from that international break to, to, to sort of give him a break and get himself sorted, I suppose? Uh, I think knowing Harry as I do, he'll want to play football. You know, the best place for him to be is on the pitch. Um, we, we know, he, he, I said earlier, he's having to deal with everybody having an opinion on... What, he's, what he should be doing, what he isn't doing, what he is doing. Um, that's life as a top player, you know. If nobody's interested in you, then life's very straightforward. If you're captain of Manchester United and a top player with England, then everybody has a view, everybody has an opinion, and that's, you have to ride with that. But um, he, he's strong enough to deal with it. He, he's got a, a little spell at the moment where a lot of things are going against him. Um, but he's got to show the resilience that I know he has to come through that. Thanks, Rob. Next, we'll go to Sammy Muckbell from the Daily Mail. Hi, Gareth. Hi, Sammy. 
Um, a lot to mind will be made about obviously discipline and it has over the past few weeks. Um, do you feel there's a, a, a discipline problem within the camp? If not, why not? Uh, and also just in terms of the, the sending, sendings off tonight, going down ten to, you, you mentioned it in your TV interviews, historically doesn't usually end well for, for England in big tournaments, is that mm. something you're going to have to stress to them? Yeah, 100%. Um, since I took the under-21 job, we had we talked to the players mm. all the time about discipline um, because we knew in tournament history, not only had it cost us, but it had cost other teams. Um, I think we only ever had one red card with the under-21s. Um, we hadn't had any before the last few weeks with the seniors. So that's something we've got to learn from because the game in Iceland was much more complicated having gone to 10. Tonight, the same. Um, of course, there have been things off the field which haven't been right. We've addressed them. Um, this week has been hugely positive with the group of players. The senior players have led really well. Um, the camp has had a really good feel about it. There have been elements of all the performances that have been good, um, with and without the ball. We've given a lot of debuts. Um, and the group have, have grown stronger together. Tonight, as difficult as it was for them, the resilience shown, the leadership shown on the pitch with 10 men and the way that they you know, they know they came off there having given everything and deserved more from that spell. Um, as a group internally, stands us in good stead. Of course, externally, there will be huge opinions of, about everything, but that is the nature of being with England. Thanks, Sammy. And we'll finish with another question from Simon Peach. I just wanted to, it feels like you've fit in about a year's worth of stuff into the last month and a half, just in terms of what you've had to deal with. Is, is it been quite a draining period and maybe you've got a lot to mull over this, this next month before the well, three weeks probably into your next election? Mm. Oh, I think it's uh, an unusual period for everybody in the world and everybody is having to deal with um, uh, complicated scenarios, um, plans that are constantly changing you know my job's no different to every man on the street who who's going through um, changes at work complications with with what they're doing day day in day out restrictions on their lives so yeah I, I'm I'm experienced enough and uh, 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 strong enough to to deal with all of those things um, we're, we're learning a, a huge amount we've learned a lot about all of this group of players, 30 players we've had with us in various guises this week. Um, learned a lot about different scenarios within games. Um, learned a lot tactically. And um, we've taken big steps forward internally as a group. And uh, that will stand us in good stead moving forward. OK, thanks, Simon. We'll end it there. Thank you, everybody.